better to have in our studio today than this uh, girl, Hang Vi, right? Welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, so I, I had to ask you one thing because we have known from everybody and you know our crew member has told us that you know seven languages. That is crazy for a high school <laughs> Okay, student. so let me say this. Actually, in real life, I, I learned three languages, English, Korean, and Chinese. Okay, so the other four languages, like, I just imitate their pronunciation, the way the native speakers speak, mm -hmm. and I just, I just want to bring fun to people. Yeah. So you also seem like a very bubbly girl, you know, you smile a lot and your eyes just glitter. I, I love that about you. Thank you. And but do you ever have any difficulty being known as the girl who can speak you know, seven languages? Well, actually, I don't have any obstacles or hurdles, difficulties. It's all fine. Like, I just got recognized more by the people on the street, and my life still remains unchanged, and I'm still a girl who goes to school daily and have friends, and yeah, actually, it's, it's really great. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned something that I think a lot of our audience will love to hear, and I'm sure you guys are dying to ask the question, okay. is that when you learn a language, it's not just about the grammar. It's not just about the writing, okay. but it's also about how you speak the language. And the more you can sound like a native speaker and speak fluently, okay. the better. And do you agree? And how do you manage to become so fluent? Because talking to you now, you're extremely, okay. extremely fluent. So actually, when I was about four or five years old, I already had an early approach to foreign films, movies, music from America, England, English-speaking countries in general, Korea, China, other Asian countries. And you know, since then, I've had a huge passion for foreign languages, and it turned me onto the fact that I could really pursue languages as a hobby. I, I remember one, one quote by Nelson Mandela is that if you speak to a man in a language that he understands, that goes to his head, but if you speak to him in his language that goes to his heart, mm -hmm. and it just makes me feel love language, language more on a daily basis, and that's how I started. You mentioned Nelson Mandela. Actually, I had a, a chance to meet Nelson Mandela. Oh, really? Was, That's really great. When I was eight years old. Yeah. Oh my God! I actually held, I held, you know, a, a, a maple leaf for him to welcome him into oh the country. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and I remember one thing he wished us back back in the day. He said that, you know, you can be whatever you want, but make sure that you're able to tell people what you think. Wow, it's sure so you, inspiring. Yeah, to tell people. What you I want. really love him. Yes, absolutely. So let's let's talk a little bit about hobbies since we're on the topic of hobbies today. What do you love to do in your free time? In my free time, well, I have a lot of favorite things to do. Like you know, um, I, I had an opportunity to work in you know, on television, mm -hmm. and that is that is how I love being an MC, hosting on the stage, and yeah, um, standing in front of the camera, and I also like you know playing piano. I have been playing piano since I was about um, about six years old and writing songs, but not really good at that. Mm -hmm. um, rapping, I know a little bit rapping. Okay, girl, you gotta show me how you rap because it's something I've not seen many people say. It's really girls that are as pretty and demure as you are. So you gotta show me how you rap. Well, honestly, I, I'm not really good at rap, but I will, I will try. I try my best. So let's start rapping. Okay. So this is a song called Can't Hold It by Mark Moore oh, featuring Ralph Louis. I love it. It's love the number them. one on Billboard USA. Yes. I'm so excited to show you guys, even though there may be some flaws, but hope you guys enjoy it. Labels out. 
are here and now they can't sell me nothing Because that's the people spread it across the country Labels out here and now they can't sell me nothing Because that's the people spread it across the country Woohoo! Oh, thank you so much You're good! I'm oh, high five <laughs> Thank you, it's really a little bit embarrassing but <laughs> With all the hobbies that you have, you know, all the things that you love to do mm -hmm. do, you, do you like girly things? Yes, of course, I'm a girl. What are some of your girly hobbies? Girly hobbies? Like, I like kind of, I, I'm really into makeup stuff. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm really not good at this, but I just like um, searching on the internet and watching many YouTube from like, you know, beauty vloggers or kind of things like that. And I really love cooking. I'm not really sure if cooking is a girly thing or a manly thing, but yeah, I love cooking. Nothing is complete yeah. without a little challenge at the Deadline Health Show. Okay. Because I think you'll, you'll be able to deal with it completely well. Oh, really? Because you have so many things, you're so multi talented. Oh. So are you up for the next Deadline Health Challenge? Yeah, I'm so excited, but I'm a little bit nervous. I'm just, I don't know if I can handle this well. Don't worry, I'm there for you when you need me. Okay, okay, thank you so much, Phoebe. Let's go. Okay. Deadline Health Challenge. Next on the Deadline Health Challenge,
I will teach you in my verse. Sounds like corpse, cops, horse, and worse. Voice recognition, what do you think? Voice recognition has finally agreed to let you on. Perfect. All right, now that we're done with Kai Yumi and Hawkeye's pronunciation challenge, she's going to turn, tune in next to our Sneak of Shame challenge. So stay tuned for her Sneak of Shame. But the game is not over yet. The final challenge is really your challenge for Get ready for Sneak of Shame. Now, V, are you ready okay. for the Sneak of Shame? six letters so what is the word um what is ten so you, there's a t r there is an r um e a there is an e there is an a is a a a t a v no 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 try arranging try something that starts with Normally when there's a V, V's don't appear very often. What do V normally go with? You have a vert. What is the vert? And you have an A and you have a D. A vert hat, no? Marketing, commercials. Oh my gosh. VF, billboards, flyers. Advert. Oh no, gosh. advert. Advert is the answer to the sneak of shame this time. All right, now our light is up. Of course, now that you've got advert, what is the one thing that you think is the most strongest point if you have to advertise about yourself? Advertise, maybe I'm confident mm -hmm. and um, I'm quite sociable. You're confident and quite sociable. I think those are great qualities to have. And I'm glad that you already have them because as a, as a woman, you know, we always should be able to develop our confidence and be who we are and strong. Yeah, thank are. you so much. It's such an inspiration. You probably listen to our show and you've seen our show and you know idioms of the week, correct? Idioms of the week? Yes. Okay. Would you want to introduce the idioms of the week section with me? I love to you. To our audience. All right. Okay. Uh, camera's yours. Take it away. Okay, so there's gonna be an idioms of the week section, so please don't go away. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. That was awesome. So idioms of the week section coming up next. 